we've talked about getting fuel to the injector. Now they've got the fuel to the injector at the bottom or in the middle of how you want to look at it. We've got to talk about our high pressure oil. As the high pressure oil enters the injector and passes by the spool valve, it's going to let the oil apply to this piston. We see it pointed out here an arrow. It's connected to a plunger. Now the plunger is going to be pushed downward because the piston has seven times greater area than the plunger it's connected to internally. We're going to have hydraulic multiplication. Now this multiplies the injection control pressure, which is high pressure oil, by 7.1 times. Now let's talk about this high pressure oil control. High pressure oil is variable. We're going to control the pressure level. It's going to vary from 500 up to 4,000 psi. That variation is going to give us the, the difference in fuel injection pressures. At high pressures, we inject more fuel than we do at low pressures. So we're going to control fuel delivery by controlling pressure. And we're going to use this 7.1 times to do that. Now, what we're going to talk about this force multiplication is we're going to multiply the force applied to our green area down here by 7.1 times the value of the oil coming in at the top. Let's talk about this 7.1. We said it could go as high as 4,000 psi of control oil pressure. If we multiply that by 7.1, that will increase our pressure to 28,400 psi. This will give us maximum fuel flow. And here's where we're going to be doing it. Coming in down here at the side, we have our fuel coming in. And then the plunger, as it comes down, will seal off the inlet and pressurize the, the fuel in that green area down there. That's going to give us our multiplication. The injector needle nozzle is an inwardly opening type. That means it's going to have lift off, which lifts off the seal when the pressure inside, the valve opening pressure we call it, is approximately 3,100 pounds. Now this is a number you're going to see happening very often in diesels. Many diesels use 3,100 pounds of injector opening pressure. So we have a very typical injector opening, but we got there by using oil pressure. As the fuel is atomized at this high pressure and goes through the nozzle tip. So here's how we got here. We had oil pressure. We used our fuel injector control module to turn on the current to open up and supply this high pressure oil. It moves over. We send the oil down. It pushes on the plunger and it intensifies it by 7.1 time and moves on down to our fuel injection. Then we're going to use the FICM to turn it off. We're going to come back, and now we're going to move it back into its original closed position. We've released it. That difference in time and that pressure is going to determine how much fuel injection we get. Now remember, we only get injection when we have at least 3,100 PSI. Why do I keep repeating that? Because next we're going to look at scan data, and we're going to look to make sure we always have at least 31 PSI of fuel pressure. But we're going to have to look at the oil pressure to do that, and we're going to be utilizing that. When the pressure drops below 3,100 pounds, the injector pendle closes and we stop current, we stop fuel flow. So we're going to use this to vary it. We're going to vary the time, like we're talking about here. We're going to open it. We're going to close it. The difference in time between opening and closing is injector open time. The volume is injector open time and fuel pressure. If we have 28,000 pounds of pressure, we get much more volume than we'd get at 3,000 PSI. So let's go on and see about how we look at scan data to see all this happening.